Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. We are on Tuchanka already, actually. This is this is gonna be a pretty quick playthrough. My hope is that it's no longer <clears throat> it's no more than 30 episodes or so. And I'll be sniping. I'll be using the Valiant. Works really well. I think I mentioned that or I don't know if I did. Well anyway. This as a sentinel, I really feel like I benefit from just strong weapons, you know, heavier weapons. Do good damage at range to just support my powers. Works really well, and I don't need more than one weapon in that case. Just one strong weapon to help me finish guys off and take out hard targets, and you know, that just works fine. So this is what this mission is. When I say what mission I think is the hardest mission in the game, this is it. This, and not this part, but just the very end, the final fight, I consider to be the hardest in the game. But I, I don't think that's true anymore. I've changed my mind. It was really hard on my engineer. It was not that difficult on my vanguard, and it wasn't that hard on the sentinel either. So, I think it was more just a learn to play issue on the engineer. And I consider the hardest mission in the game just to be the final mission at this point. Harder than Grissom Academy, harder than this. This is the mission where you rescue the Turians on the Tuchanka. Just gonna give that to Edie randomly. I don't know why. I very rarely remember to actually switch to what weapons I want my party members to use. Okay. I'm just skipping past that. I'm using the Valiant. I do have group incendiary ammo now. I'm just trying to get line of sight on these guys. They're not really cooperating in that regard. Here he comes. And the Valiant does good damage. If I had been able to get headshots, he wasn't facing me. When you can get headshots with a Valiant, it does very good damage, especially with incendiary ammo. If you spec incendiary ammo for its explosive evolution, where it does like a hundred damage every so many seconds, you can do ridiculous damage with sniper rifles. Or any weapon. I, I think that the explosive evolution of incendiary ammo is probably overpowered, actually. It does way too much damage. It will dramatically compensate for any weakness in a weapon, though. It'll make any weapon just do a ton of damage. So I was trying something new here. I was sniping. I wasn't going up close and personal as I did in previous missions. I'm playing more as an artillery sentinel. And for the first time ever, I think I actually managed to kill the harvester before it fled. Normally... I recall it just fleeing. I don't recall it actually dying. But the Valiant does so much damage. And just using party abilities and Reeve and whatever. And I don't know if Harvesters have a weak spot. I tended to aim for their faces. I don't know if you want to hit them in the big blue circle in their chest instead. But yeah, there he goes. And somehow all of those Turian pilots or whatever survived the nuclear explosion, but... Whatever. This was quick, by the way. I don't think I died at all. Pretty quick mission relative to some. Find the main crash site ASAP. Damn. Losing men is hard enough. No face ten. I won't be using the face in at all this playthrough. That's gotta be rough. Organic species get disproportionate. I mean unless I use it just because I don't use it very much. I don't really favor assault rifles that much. I like light machine guns and mini guns to an extent, but just basic assault rifles, I'm not a huge fan. I like shotguns, occasionally sniper rifles, SMGs if they're a close quarters SMG like the Hurricane. The only assault rifle that I really like in this game, and I like the Revenant well enough, but more so than the Revenant, I do like the particle rifle quite a bit. It's a really interesting weapon. It's effective. It does require a modicum of skill because you do need to track, and tracking can be harder than it seems. Sometimes. Especially really quick moving targets. Just like using a minigun, you just you need to track the opponent, get shots on them. And it also requires you to be exposed for longer periods of time, so. It's not... I don't really view it as overpowered or anything. Just effective. I wish there was a full auto shotgun in the game. I wish there was just an automatic shotgun. That would be really cool. 
Just maybe ridiculous recoil or something. Close quarter shotgun. I would love for some new shotguns to DLC. I would love, as I said, a full auto one. And... Shepard here. What's your status? I don't know. Maybe one with six shots rather than five or eight, you know, something in the middle. They do cover everything pretty well, though. I'm having trouble thinking of what other shotguns they could bring to bear at this point. There are a lot of them in the game. I wouldn't mind more two-shot shotguns as well. I really like two-shot shotguns because they have a bit larger margin of error than the Claymore while still doing really good damage per shot. Then again, though, I really don't have much trouble using the Claymore and keeping it on target. That it's one shot per chamber is much of an issue. I found it to be a lot more problematic in Mass Effect 2 than in Mass Effect 3, though maybe they buffed its damage in Mass Effect 3. Also, I mean, a big part of it is lots of enemies don't have shields, whereas everybody had shields in Mass Effect 2. Lots of different things. I will, guys, be using the Javelin this time around. Once I find it, I will use it. And I will do my best to get used to the delay. I actually have used it more. Just even in my live fire episode, and gradually got a bit more accustomed to the delay in firing. I do think it's cool. I really like being able to see through everything, and... It is nice to pierce cover every now and then to speed things along. So I will give it another shot. And I'll try to pick up armor pieces that give me a lot of ammo in reserve so I'm not as concerned about running out of ammo. Oh no, a target that's slightly moving to the left. Therefore, apparently I can no longer get headshots. Because I am so pro. That... That, why? What? What's wrong with you? The single marauder. There. Okay. Let's pick it up. Sniper rifles, I think, go pretty well with the Sentinel. Here's where politics pisses me off. Wouldn't the Krogan want to blow these Reapers the hell off their own planet? I need these guys working together. This is actually going to be the final fight already. Where this is the fight that I always say is so difficult, but it's not. It's not as hard as I recall. This was probably my easiest run at it yet, actually. And I don't think it was so much because of the class. I think it was because of the Valiant, because the Valiant's really good. And it made dealing with the Brute really easy. The hardest thing is just killing the Brute quickly. Affirmative. All right, let's so here they come. Boom. And this is so wide open. This area is perfect for sniping. It's huge, it's open. You even get high ground advantage if you back up a bit, which I'll, I'll be using soon. The enemies even cluster together, so if you want to use grenades... Now it is also open, so it allows everybody to shoot you, for the most part, as well. But I've been killing them so quickly, it's not really doesn't really matter, and my party members are also positioned so that they're drawing fire. And look how much damage I've already done to the Brute. That was using all my frag grenades, though, on him. But I know that I'm not going to really need him for anything else, and I also have some lift grenades left. So Edie just went down. But so did the Brute. And I now have this high ground, and I... This was just good fortune. I didn't even really realize that I would have such a great view of the map from here. I can hit just about everybody, and they're... It's also breaking their line of sight and causing them to move to the right and move into my line of sight, so... And now they're feeding on this cannibal, because they're stupid. This just worked great. Now, I am running low on ammo, but there's some pretty close to me. You just shoot a cannibal once when he's feeding, it'll immediately cause him to stop feeding, by the way. And James is dumb, I guess he just got out flying. Yeah, he did. Scary Marauder. And that was an unfortunate whiff. There we go. 
Trying to get things under control here. So now, basically, I am just waiting for the Harvester to come. And then I need to grab the Reaper Black Star. But I will have plenty of opportunity, plenty of time to do so. I don't know what James is doing. Should be arriving pretty shortly. This was so much harder on my engineer. I'm sure that was because of my weapon choices, though. And I I think I said that at the time. I, I was using the face in and something else. With no ammo power yet. I didn't have an ammo power yet. I was dumb, and I experimented rather than putting everything into my... into incendiary ammo or whatever, whatever party member I was using, to ensure that I had group ammo. Really important for classes that don't have ammo powers, especially if you do not want to use... That is your bonus skill, and I do not. Unless I have no other real good options, like on the Vanguard. It re really didn't feel like I had a lot of good options other than... Harvester incoming. Then, um... Derp. Then warp ammo. I am so smart. I could have used Reeve a bit more, I guess. But I just used pull to set up my warp bomb. So here we go. Boom. He's gone. That's over. There's just a couple of guys left. And it'll actually finish before... They just despawn. Once the Harvester's dead, after a short period of time, they'll just despawn. So you don't even need to kill them all. Yeah, see? There was a Marauder and maybe a Cannibal left. But that's it. Alright, guys. Well, that's the fight. That is the mission. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. It helps spread my work. Sub if you want to see more Mass Effect 3, and have a good one. Lieutenant Victor.